In this video, we're going to show you how to create a 2D technical drawing inside of IronCAD. And we're going to show you the two different te technical drawing environments that IronCAD supports. You'll see here we have a simple part in our 3D scene, and we're going to go ahead and create a new 2D drawing. Now to do that, we simply click on the new file icon on the top left, and in the new dialog box that appears, we get the option for either a new scene, a drawing, or a CASA draft drawing. Uh, for the first drawing we're going to create, we'll use the standard IronCAD drawing. After we click New Drawing, we're given the New Drawing dialog box, and we have various uh, pre-done pre uh, drawing templates. Uh, so to begin, we're just going to click on the uh, ANSI English tab, and uh, pick, a pick a template that we'd like to use, and uh, start to create our drawing. The next step is to now create our views. Before we create our views, I'll just give you a, another quick overview of the user interface. Uh, at the top here, we have our various uh, ribbon bars, uh, the view ribbon bars uh, for creating all types of views of your drawing. Uh, annotation is used for uh, uh, dimensioning your drawing. Uh, sketch contains various uh, sketch tools that you can use inside the drawing. Uh, common has common tools and add-ins is for uh, turning on various add-ins inside of IronCAD. Uh, so to create our views, we simply click on the View ribbon bar and then click on the Standard button. This brings up our Standard Views Creation dialog. Now you'll notice on the right-hand side of the dialog we have a window that says Current Front View Direction. This is where you specify the front view for your drawing. And you can, you, you can modify that by, just by clicking on the arrows there. And once we have the view, the front view that we want, we can then pick our views. We'll pick, pick front for our main view, and then our, uh, our other views. We'll do a top, a right, and a top front right. Click OK, and then as you move the mouse around, you'll see these four uh, rectangles move. Uh, those are uh, representative of your views, and this is where you can now place the views into the drawing. So with another mouse click, the views are placed right onto the, right onto the drawing. To begin annotating the drawing, it's a simple process. Select the annotation ribbon bar, and then you'll have access to all the various commands that you can use to annotate your drawing. Uh, we have our Smart Dimension tool, which is our main dimensioning tool. And then we have obviously like ordinate and baseline dimensioning. Uh, you can put in center lines, center marks, uh, surface, surface texture symbols, welding symbols, all the standard things that you'd expect. Uh, to begin the detailing process, we're going to put in some center marks, so we'll just go over to the uh, Click on the center mark tool, and then we can click on the various circles inside of the uh, inside of the drawing, and the center marks will automatically appear. To begin dimensioning, we'll use our smart dimension tool. What's nice about the smart dimension tool is it will uh, it will dimension anything based on the uh, type of geometry that's selected. So we'll zoom in to our lower left view here, and uh, with the smart dimension selected, we'll click click. You just take the mouse button and click on the endpoints that you want to dimension, and the dimension automatically appears. So we'll start by putting a dimension on the right-hand side and then on the left. Also, if you wanted a dimension from two uh, nonlinear points or not points that aren't either parallel or horizontal, just take the mouse button and click on the two points. You'll see the default dimension uh, does a, a direct measurement between the two points. Just, just press the tab key and that will toggle you between the vertical and horizontal dimensions. Now we'll zoom out here and we'll see that we've got this angled face and maybe we'd like to make an auxiliary view of that face for detailing purposes. Well, the first thing we'll do is we'll move the view over. So you move the mouse over near the border of the view and you'll get the red highlight. Click with the left mouse button and move the view and, and uh, to reposition it. You'll notice that the other uh, supporting views stay automatically aligned to the main view, to the front view. So with the, with the view placed in the new location, we're going to add in an auxiliary view. To do that, we simply go to the view ribbon bar and select the auxiliary view option. Now to place a view you pick uh, the points, the two points that you want to aim the view at and then click the, the green check mark in the uh, browser on the left hand side. You can now then place a view. This view is now obviously fully dimensional so we can go in again back to the annotation tab and using the smart dimension tool place on various, place on various dimensions and of course we can add in center marks. As I mentioned before, uh, the Smart Dimension tool automatically will dimension based on the geometry selected. So here we're applying uh, radial dimensions, we're applying a diameter dimension, all within the same tool. If we'd like to add even more detailed, more information, we can add in, say, a detail view. 
and to place a detail view it's very similar to how we did the auxiliary view you just click the location where you want the view to appear move the mouse out to define the size of the detail view and then click the mouse button again to place it if the view scales too large simply go over to the property browser on the left hand side of the screen and resize the view, change the view scale here we're going to go from a 4x down to a 2x and of course you can add in uh, various um, you can add in a view title, things like that. You can see there uh, on the, in the property browser, on the drawing settings at the bottom, you can add in borders, names, scale. Uh, all that can be added in just by selecting it in the, uh, in the property browser. Finally, we can go in and do things like, such as added, adding shaded renderings into the, uh, into the view. Now, as I said, we have two different detailing environments inside of IronCAD. Next, I'd like to show you the Casa Draft drawing environment. And the reason we have the Casa Draft drawing environment is that it offers an AutoCAD type interface, which is it's handy for people that are who have been using AutoCAD for a long time and want a familiar detailing environment. It helps to helps you uh, get uh, create the annotations for your drawing much faster. So again, we'll say File New, and we'll say Casa Draft, and we again get get our built-in templates. In the Costa Draft environment, we again also have a similar layout. We have our ribbon bars with various action, various uh, tools that are available. Um, and to create the uh, views, we'll, we'll click on the 3D Interface tab and uh, select Standard View. And again, we're presented with a Standard View dialog, and we'll go in and select the views that we'd like. We can also uh, also um, adjust the uh, front view as needed. And um, we also have uh, various options that we can turn on and off during the uh, drawing creation process. So we're going to uh, set the uh, projection units to inches and then turn off the center marks and the center lines. Click OK, and now you can go ahead and place your views with using the left mouse button. In the other drawing environment, you placed all four views at the same time. With Casa Draft, you place one view at a time, but they still maintain their associativity to one another. It's also key to point out um, that any modifications done to the 3D model are automatically reflected in the 2D drawings. So there is associativity from the 3D model back to the 2D drawing. If we want to add in dimensions, again, similar to how we did it in uh, the other drawing environment, we just go to the Dimension tab, click on the Dimension tool, and again, it offers the same functionality where you can click on various geometries and get the, uh, get the information that you'd like. Another nice thing of, about the Casa Draft environment uh, if you have a, if you're currently using a 2D system and you have a lot of legacy data, IronCAD can open up those files and view them, modify them, so you'll have an all-in-one solution. If we click on the Common tab, you'll see we have all the standard type of uh, drawing tools that you'd expect in an AutoCAD type product. So that's a brief overview of how to create drawings inside of inside of IronCAD.